welcome to you viewers you guys see the youtube channel please subscribe channel for more videos and to get the radium support for few days today we are discussing about asap methodology okay this is one of the methodology to implement sap to implement sap okay we will see the process how it will be so it is when our implementation partner receive the order from the client to implement sap then they start using sap methodology okay this is the definition of sap methodology okay what is sap asap stand for accelerated sap okay accelerated sap so this is a five phases is there for implementation whenever doing implementation okay we have to follow these five phases in ecc in s4 and it is different in s4 and this is activate methodology okay after this class uh, in g reports announcement i docs everything i cover after complete that i am going to start s4 ana okay there i will explain activate methodology now in ecc okay now in ecc they are following as asap methodology okay in that we have five phases one is project preparation second one is business proofing third one is realization fourth one is final preparation fifth one is go live and support okay project preparation what is this phase what are the activities we have to do in this phase as a consultant don't need to involve in this phase okay usually in this phase is a management they will involve okay they involve to uh, to uh, to check the right person who is the best to implement sap okay and uh, once they found that uh, they will discuss between company the sap partner to the client both they will discuss okay what are the user license how many users is they to take the license landscape okay what landscape required landscape nothing development server quality server and production server how many servers required how many license required okay infrastructures how many uh, laptops desktops okay team size okay uh, to implement a sap how, uh, how many members required okay who is taking who is taking care of uh, consultancy consultant uh, responsibilities like uh, traveling charges accommodation who is responsible as a client or as implementation partner who is the responsible when is go live date okay scope of the project okay uh, in case once they explained about their process whether that is in scope or uh, it is not in scope so everything discussion happening in this phase okay this is a high level management they will discuss about the implementation okay to discuss about the sap implementation in their company okay once everything is come completed the final step is kick off meeting that is matter that is the final stage of the project preparation once is that they will ready to do the implementation in their company the business part, i mean implementation partner they are ready to do the implementation in client place okay this phase, this phase we are not involving this is the high level management they will involve they will decide everything okay how many license they require license not the matter users who, how many people using that uh, how many people want to use sap okay they want to buy the license from the sap lab so they want to decide landscape how many servers they required infrastructure laptops how many people coming or the team size who is responsible the, their facilities when is go live scope of the project everything they will discuss here once is finalized payments everything is finalized they will sign off to close the pro project preparation once it done we will start okay we will get the we will get the information we will get the information from the sap business partner okay they will last okay they will tell they will make your team okay they will make your team to get the information from the customer what kind of business they are doing okay everything they will gather the information to prepare the document and to do implementation in sap okay everything they that will be do that will, will be done in second phase that is the business blueprint phase then nothing but a bpp okay here as a sd consultant we will involve from business blueprint phase okay from this phase we will inform here what are all activities we are doing here we are we are gathering the information that is the requirement gathering what kind of business they are doing or what kind of pricing they have what kind of tax they have what is there and discounts are not okay um, 
how is there any credit management if there are not available to check in that how many sales are required how many distribution charge required how many divisions required okay what kind of sales is there how they are do delivery everything currently how they are doing the business process exactly we, we are not telling about uh, sap just first we'll ask the business tell me okay tell me what is your business how you doing exactly just they will explain in their words okay that is uh, once once explained everything then we are asking the questions like uh, how the price will calculate what kind of price uh, it will be there in the company okay everything as yes, sd concepts everything we are asking step by step we are preparing on document Uh, questionnaire in the as per questionnaires we are preparing we are asking question they will ask, they will tell once everything is completed we are preparing one as is document as is document nothing but a current business current business okay current business process how currently how they are tracking how they are tracking everything in their system maybe currently they are using some other, some other third party server um, product or some excel wo excel somewhere they are storing the data right some other software they are using right now how in that software how they are doing the process everything will prepare the on document everything will prepare on document will make we are making everything will prepare it on document that is we are calling as a as is document as is document nothing but current client business process current client business process once it is Uh, everything is fine if once we signed off okay we are preparing to be document what are the to be document as per client requirement how we are going to implement nsap exactly okay that we are preparing on document for example after discussion if they they have general sale okay general sales okay next step we are designing like this uh, we are creating sale order after uh, delivery invoice in sale order we have uh, price bills everything call every act back and activity everything we are displaying okay everything we confirming once order is created system uh, we can create delivery with reference of order once done we create you can create invoice with reference of delivery we are, uh, we are giving on diagrams on chart okay with diagrams and uh, we are explaining in a sap how it work everything we are preparing on document based on the client requirement we are preparing document process wise how many business process they have each business process we are preparing okay on document okay on our own process how we are going to implement sap that document we are calling as a to be document that document we are calling as a to be document once to be document is final we are taking sign off or okay, sign off from the business whether that is a, uh, whether they are understanding correct or not while preparing that is there any gaps maybe some scenarios is not possible to in sap in standard okay that kind of gaps we are uh, we are noting we are not we will we'll note and uh, we'll see in standard how we can do whether it is possible or not in standard so everything in customizing also it is possible or not everything we are tracking that is a gap gap nothing but if it is possible or not their business process it is possible or not to convert into sap that it is calling as a gap okay once everything final we are taking sign off this is the business proof in play phase next realization this is the this is the one of the phase to do the development to do the configuration okay once bpp document completed this phase is completed we will start do the walk in system this is a everything is a word uh, we, we are doing powerpoint word somewhere we are doing we are not touching any system realization phase we are using sap okay we are in sap development system development server we are using to do the configuration okay based on the business based on the to be document based on to be document step by step everything we will config once configuration is completed that is, we have two types of configuration baseline configuration final con- baseline configuration module wise each and every module they will config their self once completed final configuration that is the integration configuration okay if you want to create just what we are doing uh, 
SD point of view what we need sales org distribution channel division sales of sales office shipping point this are everything we created if your plant is not created how we can ship how we can link to shipping point if the plant is not created how we can link to sales line so it is not possible so based on configuration each model they will do configuration based on the their requirement once completed in final configuration we are linking one module to one another module like uh, our sales are going to link company code uh, plant is going to link sales line shipping point like that okay once is completed we are doing testing unit testing nothing but a individual testing uh, just we are creating on sale order okay sale order or creating sale order whether uh, system is allowing or not okay once uh, sale order is created manually we are uh, we can able to do that delivery or not okay next invoice or not so back after creating invoice how the glc posting accounting so we need fi support if stock is not available if stock is not there we need mm support to purchase the raw material to make the uh, to uh, raw material okay to make the production or else in that purpose just we are procure uh, procure from the vendor to directly through vendor directly we dispatching to the customer so after sale order we have some processes okay how we can test from their model their point of view they have to done all steps once is completed for their steps okay now what we are doing with combining we are running enter on process one order delivery invoice enter order after order uh, delivery in delivery if you want to deliver in pga means after the went to pga so stock has to be available so after invoice payments everything enter npn we are running on process that is the integration testing are in uh, sitting all modules step by step module by module we are running enter on full scenario okay that is the integration testing in this phase only we are preparing user manuals okay in sale on uh, general sales process how we are, first we have to go to first go to va01 va01 screenshot click on enter the screenshot after it, it will display like this screenshot we need to enter sales area screenshot next enter customer material quantity plan payment term screenshot click on enter this is save so like that end to end order to invoice end to end we need to prepare a document that is the user manuals and we need to prepare configuration document general sales how we config okay i uh, i went vo v8 a copy from over i created uh, one new document type so i created new item category this is my new item category or shipment category this is my new pricing procedure this is my delivery document okay new delivery document this is new billing billing type i create so like that we are preparing one configuration document okay and fs documents fs document is there any customizing g reports okay for g reports we need to give logic to abapa right so how we given logic so that is fs document so everything we are doing in realization phase okay once everything completed configuration completed okay testing completed manuals created configuration everything completed then we are entering into the final preparation okay in this way what we are doing we are giving training to the core users or end users or okay business we are just we are, uh, we are giving training to users how to create the sale order how to create the delivery how to create the invoice okay for a scrap process how we have to create for a normal otc process how we have to create third purpose third party process how we have to create everything okay everything we are giving training to the users how we have to do step by step okay next once training is completed we are taking sign off we are taking sign off we are moving the changes to quality okay quality we are moving usually in development system we are developing in development quality when quality only we are testing final preparation business need to test in quality okay once quality in quality only we are giving training to users okay once quality uh, in, in once quality system we uh, training everything is done we are moving quality to the production system okay after done the conf after uh, changes move to the production system we need to do some activity that is we are calling as a cutover activities what are the cutover activities like if business having any uh, open orders so that open orders we need to uploading 
production system using L LTMS, RA, LSMW, or BDC record. So what do we do that based on the client? Okay, we need to upload. If they need, uh, already they have existing 100 customers. All, all customers we need to up, up, uh, up, upload in a production system, open orders, open register, mass data, everything. Okay, uh, so currently where the business was there, exactly same phase, same data we are keeping in SAP. Okay, for example, in, uh, in before uh, implement SAP in 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 other server in other system, what they done order created, they will not created, right? Okay, now we need to deliver it to customer, right? So already order created, then what we have to do? That order we are creating, okay? We are uploading in SAP. Once order is created, from order delivery the users will do. Okay, that, that that kind of open orders. Okay, already they have customers. They will not create manual customers, existing customers. We are we are uploading the customers using templates. Just we are preparing one template. What data to require to upload the open orders, to upload the customer master, to upload the material. We are giving one template. They just they will fill the data. Okay, once they fill, we are uploading through LS and LTMS and BTS record based on the client. Okay. Once data uploaded, everything is completed. We are a handling system to the business to do day-to-day -day transactions. Okay. Once it's completed, uh, that is the uh, we are giving three months post-production support. That is the company to company. Some companies three months, six months. One. That is uh, that is uh, based on the what they discussed in project preparation phase. Like uh, based on that, they will decide. Okay. Usually, on domestic project, it will take to implement six months. Okay, once it's complete, uh, BP document it will take one month at least, three months realization phase, three months. Okay, this is one month it's discussion, one month. So, total average it is it will take uh, domestic for six months. Uh, so, based on the client, if client is, is a big client, it will take one year, two year, three year. So, if it's a small client, based on the client. Okay, this is the ASAP methodology in ECC. Okay, this is like this will follow step by step to do the implementation in ecc okay in uh, in asporana that is that we are called activate methodology that we will see later okay next class i'm going to cover g reports idocs and announcements how we will do in real time you will take on real time samples and we will provide the logic okay once again thank you all for watching the videos please subscribe channel and refer to your friends to get the more subscription Thank you all.